All right, guys, I'm going to show you a trick on how to indicate this part so that it's relatively easy. First thing, a good way you can double check whether or not your part is square. Move out to an edge. And just bump your indicator against the face of the part. If the needle bounces, you know this part isn't true. It's a lot easier than indicating all the sides. You can tap it and bring this into zero, then you know your part is running true if you know that the faces are all square to each other. Good way to double check it. All right, now the way most of us probably do this, and I know it's the way I did it for a very long time, you get your indicator somewhere close to the center of your part, move it down till it touches, and then you look for that magic low spot, just like that. Okay, your indicator, move your indicator back to zero. Lather, rinse, and repeat. Now the bad thing about this is if you forget to move the carriage or you bump it too hard or the needle flexes down or God forbid you turn your chuck and the high spot comes around and gets it, it's all over. It would be nice to be able to indicate it while it was moving. I'm going to show you how to do that. Stick a rubber band on it. And I'm going to guess a lot of you know exactly what's going to happen. Some shims under here. And you still want to keep your indicator relatively close to the center of the part this way, but now we're going to go up instead of down. It's a really strong magnet on this indicator base. All right, I'll come back for it. There we go. I got to tell you, it doesn't get any easier than that. You're now indicating in the exact same contact point on the inside of each one of those shims, and you can just continue to move the chuck. You don't have to move the indicator. It makes the indicating a rectangular or a square part so much easier, it's not even funny. I'm not going to waste the time tweaking these jaws in to show you. I just wanted to show you this trick. This rubber band is certainly stronger than the spring inside of this indicator so this indicator will never overcome these shims. There you go. Indicating a square part while the machine is off naturally but the part continuously moves. Piece of cake. Alright well that's a unique way to indicate a square or a rectangular part in a four jaw chuck if you've ever had to do it, you know it's a pain in the neck. And uh, if you have something that's an irregular shape that's a rectangle or not perfectly square, use a shim on either side and just do two sides at a time. And by all means, when you're done, check the whole thing out. Don't assume anything. Even check the squareness of the part. And a quick way to check the squareness of a part, uh, you can tram the whole side of the block. But if you prepared that block and you know that block is square, rest your indicator against the face of the part and as the part spins, if it's not true in the jaws, then the face isn't going to be true either. It's going to roll, and you're going to see that on the needle as well. It's about all I got. I hope you can try it. I hope it applies to something that uh, will make your life easier. Today is my birthday, so I figured I would just have a little bit of fun, and I like four jaw work, so I posted it. Anyway, until I see you again, Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations, Austin, Texas, I'm out.